We began with a police shooting investigation in Maryland. This morning, one man is recovering after an officer shot him last night in Forest Heights. It happened at Rivertown Commons Marketplace on Oxon Hill Road as people are out shopping for the evening. News source Megan McGrath is live at that scene with more. Good morning, Megan. Well, good morning. Yeah, this happened a little after 5.30 last night. So the parking lot that you see behind me here at Rivertown Commons, it was full of people, folks who were grocery shopping, running errands. Now, Forestville Heights police pulled over a car that was wanted in connection with an assault that happened in a neighboring jurisdiction. They pulled that car over in the parking lot here and ordered the driver to get out of the vehicle. Now, according to police, he did eventually get out of that car, but he was armed with a knife. Now, police say that they told him to put down the knife. The person did not. And that's when one of the officers, a Forest Heights police officer, fired his service weapon. Now, the man who was shot was taken to the, ho taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening wounds, so he is expected to be okay. Now, the whole incident was captured on body cam video, but that footage has not yet been released. Now, at this point, all of this is still under investigation. Prince George's County Police have actually been ha asked to help with that investigation. But bottom line here again, yesterday evening, just after 530, police were attempting to pull someone over, wanted in connection with another incident here in this parking lot. And that's when the shots were fired. Back all right. You. Thank you, Megan. As you mentioned, this was the third time in two days a local police officer shot a suspect, each time involving a different agency. Early Sunday morning, a Prince George's County police officer shot Raphael Coates after a reported home invasion on Addison Road South. Police say Coates had stabbed someone he knew in a fight over money, and when officers responded, Coates approached them with a piece of lumber in his hands, and one officer fired. Coates survived the shooting. He's now charged with attempted murder, assault, and home invasion. In Virginia, it was a Herndon police officer who shot a man Sunday. Police say the man stabbed his wife in the chest, and when officers responded, approached them with a knife as well. Police haven't released the man's name. He has not been charged yet. The husband and wife are both still in the hospital.